Check out what I got. New welding gear. What? Hey friends, Chad from Flash Performance. I wanted to show you some cool new stuff that I got at the last tool show that I went to. This is from Save Face. They have a whole outfit for a skeleton look. Welding jacket, gloves, and helmet. Now some cool things I wanted to point out about these products. And the first one is going to be on the gloves. So check out these gloves. I've been using these for about a month or so. But one of the big things about them is this is not a screen print. They don't print this on there. This is actually embedded into the leather. So think of it more on the lines of a tattoo. So they tattooed this into the glove, which makes it so it doesn't come off. So I have been burning these, getting a little hot on them, but the image is still there, so we don't have to worry about that scratching off or peeling off, which when you're welding, you seem to be in just a little bit of heat. So the gloves are very cool. Secondly, is the jacket. I mean, check it out. This thing's awesome, but it's not heavy. So even in the summertime, you're not going to be sweating your butt off while you're wearing it. And with the buttoning, it has a second liner in there to make sure that no sparks come in. So that's Velcro. And that has, it Velcros to the inside of here. So when you put it together, it all seals up nice and tight. And of course you got the buttons on the wrists to keep it tight so when you put your gloves on, the gloves cover plenty so you don't have to worry about sparks going down. Then there's the helmet. These guys got it figured out. This is all viewing area. You have 180 degrees of viewing with the helmet on, plus you have the quick change lens. Now, this particular mask didn't come with an adjustable lens. That is separate if you wanted to get that, which I did. So I'm going to show you how to change out the standard lens for a fully adjustable lens. So you can change your tint for TIG welding or for running a torch or for welding a stick all the way through. We can do it with this helmet. Check it out. So far, I've been very impressed with the Safe Face products. I mean, good quality. The knobs actually turn in the same direction. So they're not opposites and get you all confused when you're trying to tighten up your helmet. So it makes it a lot easier. And also it comes in a nice keeping bag so you can put your helmet in there you don't have to worry about it getting scratched up if you have to put it on a shelf so another nice feature that comes with the product but the big thing I wanted to do was start TIG welding and to TIG weld you need a little bit different shade of lens so with the standard lens it works fantastic for MIG welding I mean it is spot on and the reaction time is very quick but I wanted to change this so I can dial in for when I'm TIG welding so it's not too dark or a lot too light. And here's how I'm gonna do it. I called up the guys at Safe Face and they sent me this. This is a complete assembly. It's a generation Y replacement lens for the Extreme Face product or the EFP. So this is a complete assembly. It includes the, the auto darkening function, the holder lens and adjustment for the ADF. So this is going to go into my helmet. All I have to do is make a little bit of a tweak to the helmet, no big deal. So you can see the lenses are actually the same. I'm going to replace this whole 180 degree view with this lens. The difference is this one comes with a little controller box. That little controller box has to go through the side of the helmet. So I'm going to drill a hole in the side of the helmet, put that baby in. To remove this lens, I got to remove these caps. These caps are where it retains the lens into the mask. We're going to do that simply with a flat screwdriver. We're going to go to the inside and we're going to remove the two little tangs. When we pop the little tangs out, that gives us the ability to push those side pieces out. To remove the lens assembly. So keep this in mind, Safe Face sells these by themselves. So if you get this all burn up or you drop it and crack it, scratch across the floor, you can order just that piece as a replacement unit. They also have the protective glass for the inside if you need to replace that. So keep that in mind. We're going to save that for later, just in case. So in with the new. We're going to slide that through the hole. 
set it into place. Put back on our retaining caps. Make sure you put them on the right side. And then we're going to put back in the little spades that hold them in place. So now that we have the new lenses in, we need to put in the controller box. And to do that, we've got to drill a hole through the side of the helmet. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the head strap. and set that out of the way so I can easily get access to where I'm going to drill at. i got to take the cover off of the controller because I'm going to use this guide to indicate where I'm going to drill my holes. To do that, we're just going to pull off the knob, remove the Phillips screw, and then there's also a, a nut that we're going to remove from the main control. And I'm going to use that as my template to be able to mark the holes in the side. In order to get the cord to lay nice and flat how I want it to, I'm actually going to mount this at an angle. So I just need to mark that out, the circles, so I can drill it out. So on this we actually have to make four holes three for the knobs and one for the set screw that goes in between. So make sure you do all four of them. Just wanted to find the drill bit that was the right size so you could use your template and then go just a little bit bigger on your drill bit to give you a little bit of wiggle room. Now that we have all the holes drilled in it, we can just clean up the back, all the plastic that came out the back, and uh, push it through. There we go, all installed. We'll just put our knobs back on. Make sure you align those up correctly. Put our helmet back together with the head strap, and we're all set. There we go, simple as that. Couple three holes, couple of pins on the side, and it's now an adjustable quick change helmet with a 180 degree view. Absolutely amazing. One of the things that I'll also point out while I was doing this is just the sheer number of options when it comes to adjustability on these helmets. You have adjustability on the back strap up and down independently of the rest. Of course your height, your width, and the tilt angle all built into this helmet. Just an amazing, amazing product overall. So make sure you check out the guys at Save Face. They got some awesome products. They got skeletons, they got a man on fire, they even got all your favorite Marvel characters like Iron Man. So check it out. Go to SaveFace.com Appreciate it. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, let me know what you want to see. Roar. <laughs> Good job, buddy.